Hello, something new for Microcontroller Monday. I'm doing a video. Now, what have we got to look at? It's a Serpente board. This is a Circuit Python board which I picked up from Tindy the other day, and it closely resembles an AT Tiny 85 DigiSpark, which is why it piqued my interest. So they're $15 at the moment. They're out of stock, unfortunately, and there's a wait list for them. And I picked up two of them the USB C version in the top left, and USB A version bottom right. I've also got for comparison here the AT Tiny 85 board that they're similar to. As you can see, not a lot of difference. The USB C version and the micro USB version, top left, have the mounting hole to securely mount it into a case. And the USB A version bottom right does not have this due to the fact of the layout of the board. There's nowhere to put them. But both have exactly the same pinout, both work in exactly the same way. You just plug them into the computer and write some code. So, that's what I've done. I've got a project wired up. And I've got some code. So I'm going to quickly step through the code. As it's circuit Python, just like normal Python, I've got my imports for the libraries to work with the board to control the direction of the pins. And I've also got time to, con to control how long a pin is on for. So the first object I'm going to create is LED, which links to the LED connected to pin 0, D0, which is here. This is an output, I want current to flow to it so that the LED turns on. The second object is my button, which is in D1, so this pin here, and it's an input. I want power current to flow to it. And the initial state of that pin is going to be up, high, on, in other words. So when I press the button, the other side of the button is going to connect it to ground. So when I press the button, it connects pin 1, which is high, to ground which pulls it low and causes a change of state which triggers my code to do something. And what's it going to do? Well in a loop I'm going to check the state of that button and if it is low, zero, off, I'm going to have a for loop that's going to iterate three times. It's going to turn on the LED at D0, it's going to wait 0.2 of a second, then turn the LED off, wait 0.2 of a second. It'll do that three times, and then when the loop is over, it'll go to this final line of code, which is just going to stop the button from detecting false presses, debounce. So this code is already on the board, I'm just going to quickly save it. Again, the beauty of CircuitPython, I can save directly to the board. I don't need to press anything to upload it or compile it, it's just done. Let's go to the close-up camera. If I press the big red button, one, two, three. There we go, flashing LED. I can now do anything I want, take over the world, haha. -ha. So let's just show how you can change the code really quickly. So this for loop currently does it three times. Change it to 10. So it's gonna do the flash 10 times. I'm gonna press save, control S in Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna go back to my close-up camera and I'm gonna press the button. Ten times. Really easy. So yeah, that's Serpente. A nice, easy to use board, relatively cheap, and a good way to get interested and in using Circuit Python. And you can pick them up from the Tindy store, I'll put a link down below in the comments. I'm not used to this YouTube thing yet. Yeah, have a play, see what you think. Thanks.